Okay, you're on video now. I'm on video? Okay, well, we are at this uh, fabulous rooftop terrace here in DC uh, in an undisclosed location, thanks to my friend Chris, who has uh, invited and challenged me to try a new thing to sip. It is um, Ancho Reyes. Uh, I'm zooming in. It's, it's an Ancho. Ancho yeah, it's an Ancho pepper liqueur. Yep. Um, it says Altissima Calidad, so I'm guessing for a sissy like me, it's going to be probably too spicy. Let's see. But I don't know. I like spicy things. I just I'm from the Midwest, and you know, for me, spicy is like black pepper. So we'll see how it goes. All right, we'll smell first. Smell test. It smells good. It actually has a nice, like, sort of kind of fresh aroma to it. It actually kind of smells like, almost like green pepper. So that's oh, nice. Oh, that's interesting. It smells a little sweet, too. Oh. All right, let's try a sip. Here we go. Oh, wow. Ooh. Ooh. Well, I mean, it, like, really opens up your, like, your sinuses, but, um, it's not that spicy. Uh, you really, like, the first thing you taste is, like, it's, like, the essence of the ancho peppers. I mean, now it's starting to actually burn a little bit, but I can't tell if that's the alcohol or the, um, the peppers. Probably both, but, but the first thing you get is this really strong, intense flavor and aroma of, of ancho peppers. It's really amazing. Let's have another set. This works out well because you haven't done a map sit things in a while. Yep. Map sips things in a while. Yeah, I know. Talking is hard. Drinking is easy. That's good. Okay, here you try. I don't know if I would drink that by itself, but in things like you could make. What could you make with that? You could mix that with mezcal and make a really nice drink, or tequila, mm -hmm. of course. You could use it with. Um, gin with that maybe obviously vodka kind of is the universal solvent you could use that with vodka but but it's really good it's a little sweet but it's not it's not oh too yeah sweet. you really taste the pepper yeah i mean that's like i wasn't expecting that bottle. at all like you actually taste the chili yeah that's really good because you know how sometimes things are kind of gimmicky you know like yeah. it, it never tastes like marshmallow or what oh, oh, that's God. a bad example like but that, yeah it never tastes like that like that terrible birthday cake vodka i had once and that's the other thing, it doesn't taste artificial. It tastes No, like that's the thing. It actually peppers. tastes like not, not like essence or extract of ancho yeah, peppers, this is, but it tastes like This is lovely. You know, I would peppers. buy this. Yeah, I would definitely buy this. So it's a really nice rocks glasses. They suggest using it, let's see. Uh, it's a spicy take on a classic margarita, which is an excellent idea. You could do this. It's one part ancho reyes with one part of your favorite tequila, three quarters part fresh lime juice, and one half part light agave nectar. Shake well with ice, strain into a double rocks glass with a fresh ice, garnish with a lime wheel, and enjoy. So, final so, verdict? Final verdict, yeah, this is really good stuff. Um, it's not super spicy, even no, for someone it's not. from Indiana. I drank this without any pain or damage. And it's not super sweet either. No, like it's not like a nasty, are. syrupy. Yeah. It's, this not is sir not like, it's actually yeah, not syrupy. It's not like um, that, that pamplemousse stuff we have, which yes, is good, is but syrupy. very sweet and sticky. Yeah, no, I would absolutely buy this and recommend it. Um, like they said, it'd make an awesome margarita, but you could also do like uh, Negroni type things. With yeah, it that I, think I think it would be, good be really Negroni. You could make a kind of spicy Negroni or a spicy Mezcal Negroni with this, mm -hmm. and it'd be really good. All right, well, thanks to Chris for uh, our special tasting, and uh, I guess I'll see you next time I have something else to drink.